everyone, let's get warmed up. We're about to worship. So get a, get a little bounce going. I know you don't have Cheetos, but I'm the only one who gets Cheetos. Back. Don't forget to stretch. The stretch and up. My arm. I'm not used to stretching. I don't, how do you do this thing? Now go up on your toes, down, and here, up on your toes, down again. Okay, I'm really tired. I don't know if I can keep up with this thing. It's all about getting your body moving. You don't want to tear any hamstrings or shoulder muscles while you're praising God. We're praising Jesus. How do you guys, how do you guys do this for so long? I'm exhausted. Oh, cheetah break. All right, let's get back into it. Get ready, get ready. Here we go.
Caramel apples, or caramel for those of you who pronounce it that way. Unicorn costumes, pig corn, red blazers, and a whole lot of mind monsters. Wait, mind monsters? Aren't those negative invaders of our minds? Why are you excited about mind monsters? <laughs> because I know how to defeat them. <laughs> Fear, worry, whatever mind monster it is, I'm not worried because I have F-A-I-T-H. That spells faith in case you weren't paying attention. Wait, do you know how to defeat mind monsters? I want to know how to. Oh, don't worry, Tracy. This entire month, we will be talking with our church kids friends about defeating those pesky mind monsters. I am so excited. Speaking of our church kid friends, hey, everyone. I'm your host, Charles Good. And I'm your host, Tracy Finder. In the month of October, we will be talking about mind monsters and some tools to help you defeat them. But first, we are going to play a game and we need your help deciding who the winner is. Yeah, so vote for me as your winner, Tracy Finder. Man, there's no way you're winning. Anyway, uh, we each get two minutes to paint the face of the other person using face paint, of course, based off of one picture for inspiration that we actually haven't seen yet. Oh, easy. I'm quite the artist, um, kind of. Well, let's see what you got. Okay. I need to take my glasses off. Okay, I'm, I'm going to take off my uh, red burgundy. There's also a green crayon. Red burgundy blazer. I'm going to take it off. Um, because I don't want to get dirty. <laughs> Welcome to Tracy Finder's paint, face painting experience. Okay. Woo! Okay, we're going. What do you Woo! think? Okay, three minutes. Don't time. move! Ready, go. We have three minutes. Wait, I forget already. <laughs> what? How did you forget already? It doesn't have to be exact. Because I've never seen... Why are you looking at your phone? Because I want to know what I'm doing. Mm. Uh, I need you to turn, like, face me. Yeah, there we go. Ooh, yep. I, yeah, I was the... very uneven. And I, I didn't want know the because... church kids to see it. It feels like my eyes are swollen. Oh, it's cold. <laughs> How much time do I have? It's only been a minute? Da -da -da. Da -da -da. I feel like you're gonna shove the brush up my nose. I am not going to. I don't paint my brain green. What are you saying? I have issues with goopy stuff being on my face. It's like the worst feeling in the world. I'd rather like step on a porcupine. I mean, I don't wanna hurt the porcupine. Don't get me, church kids, I love porcupines. I just, I just, can you please stop moving for one second? Because I'm trying to create a masterpiece. Mm, okay. Dun, my, my eyes are round part. Dun, 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 dun. Wait, Good. I think I know what I am then. You're not. Oh. I, I don't know why that song just came in my head. I feel like this is spot on, to be honest with you. Like, nothing has been. That's amazing as what this is. Six, five, four, three, two, one, done. Ah! Woo! You look so good! Oh. <laughs> Let it be known, this was my inspiration photo. And Wait, I you can't. Like don't I, show me it. Oh. Don't show me. I, I feel like I nailed it. I want to see. My inspiration photo, put it here. <laughs> I feel like I just dipped my face in some slime and then came out. No! Look it! Come on. on what are you? You I, gotta know. Don't I mean, I'm guessing... Oh! Oh, I didn't see the red. Am I Raphael? How did you not see the red? <laughs> I'm either Raphael or... Um, what is his name? My Michelangelo. It's a Ninja Turtle. Are the, yeah, I think so. I think you did a better job than they did. <laughs> I feel like I did too. Vote for me! You haven't seen what I've done yet. Vote for me anyway! Oh, here's my... I mean, mine was an obvious, clearly an exact replica. This is, this is my inspiration, was, church so. kids. That's my inspiration. My nose itches. Don't itch it. Set. Go. Oh, I got something in my eye. I can't even... My sausage fingers can't get you this... You gotta poke from behind. Oh! Okay. okay. Let's see. Dang it, dang it, dang it. I'm already losing time. I can't be doing this. I've never drawn on a face before. Well, you better speed it up. Oh, 
Why? This skin is hard to draw on. This is skin? This is... <laughs> How? You know skin? I'm so sorry my skin is not acceptable for your drawing. Okay, back this way. White? Are you using white? Interesting color choice. Yeah, you got liquid paint and I get crayons. <laughs> Stop oh, laughing no, no, at me! No, no. I feel like you're drawing clouds. Oh boy. Oh shoot, so cute. <laughs> what in the world are you possibly drawing right now? Fireworks? Ow. I'm really digging in. <laughs> that's, that's how it's gonna show up. I don't... Six, five, four, three, I just really two, don't understand what I one. could possibly be. I'm proud of that. That's not bad. <laughs> it's actually kind of cute. I've never done it before. What in the world <laughs> is on my face? <laughs> is this mountains? What's happening? Or, is it a unicorn? It is a unicorn. Oh. But, it's, uh, hey, that's not bad now that I see the picture. Yeah. The horn is just a little bit like... Stubby? Mm-hmm. <laughs> looks, like look. looks like a soft serve vanilla ice now cream. Now I'm like a double unicorn. <laughs> double unicorn. <laughs> D you double unicorn. Double unicorn. Double unicorn. Double unicorn. Double unicorn. Double unicorn. D you Well, that was cool. So you have to decide, church kids, who won? Who won? Was it Charles, who drew the unicorn on the unicorn, or Tracy, the turtle on the Charles? It was me. You have to decide uh, at Champion Center Church Kids on Instagram. Go vote! Yep. In the meantime, let's see what we're playing for our game today. Uh... Yes! What's up, Trust Kids friends? It's me, T. Myers, and we are here, and we are about to play a super fun game. What I did is I grabbed a spoon and six coins. I did them all the same. You don't have to do them all the same. I just thought it'd be a little better. I got six quarters, but you can get six of any type of coin, and you're ready to play this game. So what we're going to have to do is we're going to put the spoon end in our mouth and then stack all the rest of the coins on the grabby end. The grabby end, I just invented that word. We're gonna stack all six of our coins on this grabby end, and if you could do that, do your best Fortnite dance at home, cause you're a home winner, so you can have a homemade dinner in the homemade winter. Yeah, if you can do it, you know. If you have all your supplies ready to play this game, just count down with me from three and we can start stacking. Three, two, one, go!
Girls, did you know that for the month of October, we have a super cool memory verse wrap? Oh yeah. Our verse this month is 2 Corinthians 10.5, and we are talking about our FAITH acronym. Charles, do you remember what T stands for? Yep, Tracy. Uh, no. Tacos. No, Charles. Tarantulas. What? No! Tin foil. Okay. Um, no. Okay, let's check out the memory verse wrap to help refresh Tatanka. our memories <gasps> a little bit. Tiny Tinkerbells tossing tangerines. What? Tiny no. Tinkerbells tossing tangerines. Nope. I'd like to dedicate this to 2 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 5. Take every thought captive and make it obedient to Christ. Yeah. I am. God says I am. If I was it, then why would he say I am? I have something that I'd like to share. It's called faith. Put your hands in the air. Put your hands up and sing along. I am who God says I am. If I wasn't, then why would He say I am? I have something that I'd like to share. It's called faith. Put your hands in the air. F A I T A. out there. What up, Jesus? <laughs> Tracy, I got it. T stands for take every thought captive and make it obedient to Christ. Nice job, Charles. Yes. Don't forget to film yourself saying this month's memory verse rap and tag us at Champion Center Church Kids. Sweet. All right, it's finally time to jump into our very special and very funny and kind of spooky. Spooky? Yeah, okay, I guess not spooky, but super rad mind monster lesson. Are you ready? <gasps> yes! Meet Jimmy and Craig. Some would say these two are the best mind monster busting team anyone's ever seen. Over the month of October, we're going to follow this duo around to see if they can help us learn to bust some mind monsters. If you're ready, I want to hear you say, it's mine, monster busting time! Bada bing, bada, bada boom. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. We're getting a call, we're getting a call. Okay, we gotta answer the call. Mine Monsters here. Mine Monsters Incorporated. What's up? What you need? Hey, Mine Monster Busters, I need your help! I'm eating lunch in the bathroom. I don't have any friends or anyone to eat with. This is my first week at school, and I'm so scared. Everyone at the school is different. Making new friends is harder than I thought it would be. Did you hear that? I need help, quick! What should I do? I think the kid just broke the toilet with that phone. Yeah, you know what, kid? We could totally help you out with this. You got nothing to be afraid of. Mm -hmm. I mean, it sounds just like a pesky mind monster trying to body you. Yeah, yeah. and you tell that mind monster when we get there, it's finished. Hi, right, Jimmy. What are we gonna do? You saw the size of that monster. He looks vicious. I know, I know. I don't want to touch the monster. What about we just throw a, a ball at his head? 
Oh, 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 what if we throw water on him? Uh, what about what about bug spray? Ooh, we want this monster gone for good. The only way to do that is with God's word. Oh, you so right. That'll get him. Yeah. Then then let's hit him with a plunger. I, I like I like I like I like the way you think. I like the way you think. You know what this reminds me of? Huh. This reminds me of the story of Daniel and the lion's den. Uno, dos, tres. Oh. I hate kids, I, I didn't see you then. Uh, today, I have a story for you. Let me get my Bible open. Make sure you have one of these at all times. Okay. This is Daniel. Oh, hey. Who was a Jewish man who was taken to Babylon when he was very young. Mm -hmm. Daniel loved God and followed God's rules. He talked to God three times a day and asked God for help often. Daniel served in the Babylonian king's court for many years. Yeah, I know him. And under many kings. Hey, Daniel. Daniel always proved himself to be more capable than all the other court officials. I hear a lot of things. Well, anytime. Daniel was serving under King Darius, and because of his great abilities, the king made plans to place him in charge of the entire empire. Wow, okay. The other court officials searched for some fault in Daniel, but they couldn't find anything wrong with him. He was faithful, responsible, and completely trustworthy. Yeah. Wait. The court officials realized the only way to get at Daniel would be to challenge his faith. Come on! So they went to King Darius. <laughs> Excuse me, Your Majesty. And advised him to make a law that for the next 30 days, any person who prays to anyone except King Darius will be thrown into the lion's den. I like it. King Darius signed this law, and once a Babylonian king signed a law, it could not be overruled. When Daniel learned of this law, he went home and knelt down, as he always did, to pray in his room with the windows open towards Jerusalem. He prayed three times a day, just as he always had done, giving thanks to God and asking for his help. The officials went to Daniel's house and found him praying. Gotcha! They went to the king and reminded him of the law. I remember. Well... Then they said that Daniel had been found praying to God three times a day. What? When the king heard this, he was very upset. Get over here. And he spent the whole day trying to think of a way to save Daniel. Wait, what? By that evening, the court officials came back to the king <coughs> and reminded him that no law signed by the Babylonian king could be overruled. So at last, the king gave orders for Daniel to be thrown into the lion's den. The king said to him, May your God, who you serve faithfully, rescue you. Then the lion's den was sealed shut with Daniel inside. The king spent the night fasting and couldn't sleep. Then very early in the morning, the king hurried to the lion's den. He called out, Hey Daniel! Was your God able to rescue you from the lions? And Daniel answered, Long live the king! My God sent his angel to shut the lion's mouth so that they would not hurt me, for I have been found innocent in his sight. The king was overjoyed and ordered that Daniel be taken out of the lion's den. Then the king ordered the men who had schemed against Daniel to be thrown into the lion's den as punishment. Daniel was safe. There was not a scratch on him, for he trusted in God. From there on, Daniel and the king knew that any time that pesky mind monster came back, they could fight it with his word. 2 Timothy 1.7 says, God has not given us a spirit of fear, but a spirit of love, power, and a sound mind. Now, it's time for me to get back to my exercises. Where was I? I'll start from the beginning. Uno, two, three. Once after three, I've got cuatro. My Monster Busters, I'm so glad that you're here. And I'm so glad that you can make it. You know, it's time to fight this monster. Is that kid still in here? 
Sorry, that was me. What should we do? Well, kid, the way to fight mind monsters is with God's word. Yeah, God's word is full of ways to fight the monsters. Yep. The verse that's gonna get this monster out of here is 2 Timothy 1.7. God has not given us a spirit of fear, but a spirit of love, power, and of a sound mind. Bada bang, bada boom. All right, let's say it together now and get this monster out of here for good. All right. 2, Two Timothy 1.7. God has not given us a spirit of fear, but a spirit of love, power, and of a sound mind. Now let's get this monster out. Let's get this kid the plunger, Jimmy. All right, kid, let's see what you got. Child, do not believe what they say. I am the mind monster of fear, and I will not... Wait, what are you doing with that? Stop it! Thanks, mind monsters. I don't know how I would have survived today without your help. No problem, kiddo. And remember, God's word is how we got rid of the monsters. I'd like to dedicate this to 2 Corinthians. Chapter 10, verse 5. Take every thought captive and make it obedient to Christ. Yeah. I am. God says I am. If I wasn't, then why would He say I am? I have something that I'd like to share. It's called faith. Put your hands in the air. Put your hands up and sing along. I am who God says I am. If I wasn't, then why would He say I am? I have something that I'd like to share. It's called faith. Put your hands in the air. F A I T A. Take every thought captive. F A I T A. Make it O B D N to Him, to Him. Yes, we. Church kids out there, what up, Jesus? <laughs> it was a good day for Jimmy and Craig. Lots of good done by those two. They heard some farts. I mean, who didn't hear those farts? Those were the loudest things I ever heard. Poor kid, that's gotta be embarrassing. Anyways, they beat a mind monster with God's word and plunger. Which, by the way, that thing goes in toilets. Couldn't be beaten by anything worse. They saved the kid and taught him that with God, they are never alone. And most importantly, they helped the kid learn some of God's word. Who knows what the next adventure will be for Jimmy and Craig. Hopefully, not in Smelly. That was so, 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 YouTube. But right now, it's time for our rapid recap. I can't wait to see who's doing our rapid recap today. Me too. Let's see who it is. Oh, uh, hey, it's uh, me, Nick uh, Knockridge. <gasps> Here with your rapid recap. Yes, Nick Knockridge. Uh, may look like something else, but uh, but trust me, it's, it's not, okay? So this week, we learned ways to fight the the mind monster of fear. Can I tell you, ever since learning that God's word is full of wisdom that can help me fight the mind monster of fear, it has made me feel courageous. Ha! 
I mean, it's courageous, yes. Feel the courage. Allow it to swell from within. Feel the heat. Don't leave anything to chance. Now's your time. Party time. Oh, wait. No, that doesn't work. So anyways, anytime those mind monsters try and come after you, just give them the one, two, with God's word to show them who's boss. And, and not like, like the word God itself, but you know, <laughs> not like a single word. I mean, that'd be kind of funny, like a spell or something. Although it would be kind of cool to like, you know, like, like, whoa, like, like shoot, shoot a fireball at like fear. Just like, taste my fire fear. Oh, oh, fire. This was a bad idea. Well, it's time I go conquer some more fear. I'll see you next time. Wow, I didn't think today's episode could get any better. And then Nick Knockeridge, as it's pronounced, uh, gives us that incredible rapid recap. A legend! Yeah, that was amazing. Church kids, we hope you now feel ready to get into your Bible so that you can tackle some fears this week. It was so much fun hanging out with you guys today, and we can't wait to see you again next week. But before we go, remember, it's a great day. To be a church kid! Yeah, 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 yeah.